Hey guys, it's Omni here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're back on the free to play account. We got our brand new frame here for the Abyssal Expedition. Absolutely amazing looking. But today we are back to look at our new patch notes. 1.54 will be coming up pretty soon. And fingers crossed, very, very happy to see there is no new heroes. After getting Ainz and Albedo, finally after our long 60 day wait, and all the heroes that we've seen, there are no new heroes coming out with this patch. They've also said that the Persona 5 crossover event is going to be in February. So January might be a little bit slower, allow you to catch up on some of those resources, catch up on some of those heroes you've been building, um, able to spend some diamonds, do some stargazing back to the game itself. Looking here, a new round of the Misty Valley. So that will continue, I believe on its fourth rotation now which is very, very cool. Um, the Arid Badlands is coming up and the Hazy Timberland, which is from the Wandering Bloom. We've actually done that a while ago as a voyage and I'm very excited to see the new voyage. As always, the Voyage of Wonders are very, very cool, especially the one that is up right now. Very unique to see the voyages, absolutely love those. Added a new hero popularity feature, which allows players to see heroes are popular within certain chapters. I think a lot of that is probably just going to be the same heroes that most people run. Um, maybe they'll use this as heroes that are very unpopular, such as Brutus, or heroes that players don't use um, could be looked at first for reworks. Following optimizations come for the first purchase, a newcomer bundle shall be implemented. The newcomer's bundle will be replaced by a new Voyager set. So remember, the rewards when you start this game is actually going to be replaced. Players that had per previously triggered the Newcomer's Bundle shall also be able to normally purchase the Voyager set. Also, they're adding to it. So more pay to win if you're looking to purchase. Both sets will be available on the Merchant page at the same time for players that have an unpurchased and invalid Newcomer's Bundle available to them. Content for the first purchase bundle has been revised. So again, that's all kind of pay to win content with purchases that you can do. Because I believe the first purchase gave you Astrilda, I believe, and then the first $100 purchase gave you Lucius. So a little bit of updates there. If a player becomes stuck at a particular dimensional maze stage within the labyrinth, they can choose to refresh the formation. That is absolutely amazing. As we know from our live stream, we got stuck with a very, very tough Team, including Thorin, Orthos, and um, Flora, which is super, super tough to deal with. I would love to be able to refresh those teams three per round, so definitely a good, good update for the Dismal Maze. The player limit for the friends list has been increased to 40 players, so now we can add 10 more players. So all of you that have been looking to get onto the friends list will have some extra slots um, for you to hop on the friends list. I don't see any increase to the 20 companion tokens that we get per day, increasing it to 30, but it is going to stay at 20 as of right now. Optimize the interaction experience of the Oak Inn recycling feature. I hope so. Doesn't seem like when you do a lot of summons, the furniture recycles, even if you have it set to recycle, um, it still goes into the bag and I have to recycle it manually. Not sure if they're fixing that. Our players can now hold down a hero's avatar to view more detailed information about them within the battle logs. That'd be very cool. I hope you can see the artifacts that they're wearing. The artifacts specifically when it comes to the battle logs and the formations, not only the gear, but again, the artifacts that you see, just like when you merc heroes, that you can see what they're actually wearing. Optimize the de brief description of many heroes, not too big. Fix several relics. The dismal luck effects within the arcane labyrinth, which were incorrectly taking effect against summoned entities. So a couple of adjustments there. This is the part that I want to see is the reworks. So rework the ability Demonic Assault for the specific will view in-game ability description. So Grez was very, very broken and had very big RNG. You could run the Twisted Essence bosses three or four times, do absolutely no damage, then have one run where Demonic Assault worked when it needed to, depending on the boss skills. Um, and actually go up to Legends or Diamond, depending on the time that essentially the ability worked. Lilith had been talking about fixing this or adjusting this for a significant amount of time because either he does absolutely nothing and no damage, 
or he absolutely destroys damage, which we've seen in bosses, and we've also seen in the Abyssal Expedition. With this rework, it might make Grez a standard hero, or it might put him back on the shelf that no one is going to use him because this ability has been changed. Oden fixed an issue that would sometimes prevent the ultimate soul burn from correctly removing all energy. That's a really big fix, especially because that's really what you have Oden there is for this, the energy disintegration that he brings to the teams, making sure that works right. Brutus fixed an issue that would sometimes prevent the ability last gas from taking effect. Brutus, very, very underutilized, especially with his immunity effects. Um, we've been building him up on here because of those immunity effects, waiting, waiting for him to get reworked. And then Aziz fixed an issue that called the animation of Feeble Mind to still be played despite used against an enemy, which is immune. That's okay, it's just an effect. No real change to Aziz. Zolrath fixed an issue that was preventing Zolrath's ultimate ability, Time Rift, from being triggered when he suffered fatal damage the first time. Uh, so that's just a whole bunch of bugs with Pippa. So that's a whole bunch of random with Zorath and Peppa. And Alna already getting an adjustment. Optimize the triggering mechanics of the signature item. Unrelented Heart once the item is enchanted to 30. Now if Athelia's house is below 50, after receiving damage, the effect will be triggered. This was one of the problems that I was seeing from the guild and I also seen on Discord. Um, her ability when she hit that 50% mark was not being triggered at all. Um, so definitely a bug with a brand new hero that they need to fix. So overall, little fix to Alna. Zorath, very, very situational. Um, Brutus, Odin, and Grez are really the two big ones. Again, very, very happy to see no new heroes for this patch. Um, friends list to 40. Definitely would like that, especially when your friends, when you use some of the heroes for um, the... I've, I've drawn a complete blank, but when you use your other heroes to increase their stats. A uh, player becomes stuck. That's pretty good, too. I'm not too worried about the new newcomers bundle. Hero popularity feature, not too big. Voyage of Wonder and a Wandering Bloom, definitely good. And then the new Misty Valley. And the word that I was looking for, of course, was the unions. So when you have the unions, um, having more people on your friends list gives you an opportunity for more union bonuses. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the new patch. Super excited to see the rework. I'm hoping that Grez will be fixed. Um, we actually built Grez on my main account and we built Grez on my off account because of his ability, which was very, very broken. Right here, Grez strikes an enemy in front of him, dealing 70% damage to target, stealing 30% of the defense to increase. Right now, um, 90% increased by up to 90%. Grass now also steals the same percentage of the enemy's attack rating. That was kind of the problem. So depending what the boss had, he would take 90% of that from the boss, um, or he would he would steal 30% of the attack rating from the boss. So depending what phase or what function the boss was using, this mechanic would vary. It, it would fluctuate wildly, allowing Grez to essentially do no damage or essentially Grez doing a ton of damage. And then, of course, giving the damage to a lot of the spectrum uh, of the minions, um, allowing them to absolutely be destroyed or destroy the boss very, very quick with the abilities that Grez has. So again, interesting on the rework. I cannot wait to see him. Either one, he's going to be a hero no one's going to use now, or two, he's going to be standard in formation for the boss battles. That we will have to wait and see when the patch drops. So again, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.